Today we're going to talk about bullies and how we can stand up to them. Franklin Elementary student wanted to help people who get bullied from not happening again. I want to read this story because I think that this is an actually an incredible story. I, re I was about to read it yesterday, but I got so tired last night that I really didn't feel like reading it. So It is June 4th today, and it's 2015. Sorry. Um, yeah, when I was, it happened to everybody, I mean. Yeah. I mean, standing up to bullies is, feels good. I've done it. I mean, all they have now is social media. They have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, messages, um, Snapchat. But I think the most really sad thing is when they make these groups that make fun of you for disabilities, for what you do, and I think it's really ridiculous. So if this thing loads, then I can finally read to you guys about this. Finally it's loading up. Um, we're going to talk about Franklin Elementary School. You know, it's loaded. I'm sorry. My I don't know why. I mean, I get my computer fixed, and then it's acting weird. I mean, I don't know what's going on in technology nowadays, but the biggest priority is to stop bullies is to ignore them. They say, oh, you look really stupid today. That's just them being so jealous because you look really good. I've stood up to bullies. I stand up for my family. I really do. I mean, I hate bullies. Once you become the bully, I mean, you never know what's going on with the bully. They might be having something going on with them or not. I'm sorry, guys, but this is taking forever, and I can't hang on. We're going to read something else. I'm actually going to give you advice, since this thing is not loading. I'm going to give you advice. If a bully um, comes up to you and says, oh, you look ridiculous today, just tell them thanks for that lovely comment of yours. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to literally look at my history. I'm at Google. I'm going to at Google Chrome. It's my favorite website or thing to do. i got to look at my history. History! But yeah, I hate bullies. I think that bullies are a waste of time and that they don't, they don't give you good advice. And that they're really rude to you, so hang on. Here we go! You know the best part about using the computer on Google Chrome? Just go on the tablet. I mean, just go click on that little bar thing that has three bars and just go to history. So we're going to talk about Franklin and let's see what's going on with that. Sorry if I'm taking forever, you guys, because this takes a while. I don't know why. Fifth graders pledged to look out for bully classmates with special needs. <laughs> This is on people.com. I love people.com. I really do. It's a really good site to look on news. So here we go. Fifth graders aren't exactly known for their angel, angelic behavior, but five Minnesota boys have taken it upon themselves to stand up to one classmate's bullies. When Jack Pimble, Jake Burgess, Gus Gartes, Tyler Jones, and Landon Coppus a Franklin Elementary School in Mankato, Minnesota, noticed that James Wilmer, who has a learning disability, was being picked on. They decided to take him under their wing. Because he's easier to pick on and it's not, and it's just right, not right. Pebbles adds, now Wilmer has friends to sit with at lunch, play with at recess, and even help him tie his shoes and open tricky containers. He used to not want to go out for recess or anything. It would be a struggle, and now he can barely eat his lunch to get outside to play with those guys. Wilbert's mom, Margie, says they're changing him. We just got a basketball hoop last week because he now loves basketball. When the boys found out that Wilbert didn't have any video games, they set out to write his eager logic, I don't want to say it, wrong. They pulled the, their money and delivered the video games console and a few games to his house. It was the first time James had ever had friends from school come play at his house. 
Every one of them was smiling like crazy, Marchie says. I'll never forget it, never. At the end of the school year, the school district honored the boys with the Spirit of Youth Award, for which they were nominated by their teacher, Mallory Hawk. It really kind of... It really kind of makes you proud to be the teacher, Hawk says. But the boys didn't go do it for the recognition, they said. He's an awesome kid to hang out with, Burgess says. This, the feeling is much mutual. According to Wilmer, all of these guys are the best friends anybody could ask for. This story is really, really, really sweet. I think that it's great that these kids are pledging to help people with special needs. I mean... I mean, everybody has learned disability. I've learned disability. Um, but what I've always wanted to become is a special needs teacher. I love special needs. I love people with Down syndrome with anything. And I think this is an incredible story. Thanks, guys, so much. I'm going to look on eonline.com right now. Thanks, guys. Bye.